everything seems good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. All right. Finally, back to Red Dead. My very good game. Played a lot of cool games. I have to say, I really, I'm really enjoying it. This game, I, I'm happy. Uh, I'm gonna try to finish with this game. Like I said, this is a game that's gonna help me like survive this. This uh, fucking uh, out. We, we got about um four, five, about six hours left if we go to twenty-five to finish really at eight. Because it's uh, two o'clock right now. So six, yeah. All right. I'm gonna position my mic here. Sorry if it's gonna make a bit of annoying, annoying sound. Here. It would be a terrible shame not to continue. They would, eh? I was doing this guy. Fine, stay there. Good boy. All right, what were we doing for him? Mario said that his scent handler down this direction for, to search for the tiger. All right, let's go find the tiger. Oh shit. That could have been worse. That could have been way worse. Let's go find the tiger. Strappy? Where are you? Hey, mister. Oh. Miss. Howdy, mister. Did, um... Did you lose a tiger? Yeah, you found one? <laughs> no, nah, I found your caravan down the way. Uh, Margaret said that you might need a hand. Oh, you weren't wrong. That tiger's missing. I sent our best lion out to find him, and uh, now he's missing too. <laughs> it is a right old predicament. You're lying from uh, Timbuktu, weren't you? From Valentine, I think. He might be more of a kind of dog than a lion, but in a certain light, a feller could never tell. <sighs> Of course. Which way'd he go? Into them shrubs over there. Okay. Why don't you hop up on the wagon and I'll see if I can find his track. Okay. That first set of shrubs, that's where I lost sight of it. I got it. Got the trail. These are paw prints. Looks like black blood. What? Shit. What's this? Oh, well, someone's dying. Found your dog. Ex dog, ex lion. Hey, boy. Oh, where's the rest of them? I think a cougar took him. Oh, that'd be stripy. And I always thought they got along. Your tiger is a wild cat? 
Uh-huh. What else? You still need it back? Oh, yes, sir. She's our star attraction. Well, let's hope it wants the other half of its dinner. <laughs> The other half? Really? I'm gonna put them in your wagon. You find somewhere to hide. Oh. Well, uh, behind that log then. Okay. <clears throat> Grubs up. Stay down. She won't be too far away. Come quick. I went out to find a tiger. Cougar, you mean? And I end up losing a lion. Yeah, dog. Ain't having any luck. Well, if that's what you're dealing with, you didn't have any luck to begin with. <laughs> Cougars and dogs. Hey, it ain't what you got in this life. It's what you make of it. Well, that's very wise of you. Especially when you're lacking zebras and tigers. Hey, keep your head down. It's coming. Look, I really don't think she'll eat the dog. Like I said, they was friends. She shut it. Oh, well, I guess she's real hungry. She's feral. I'm locking her in. Close the door. Close the door. What are you waiting for? Alright. Let's go. We got her! Okay. Hmm. Drive, will you? And I'll keep an eye on her. Sure thing. Let's get her back to Mr. Margaret. She's still eating. I would have thought, since they was close and all. Well, wild creatures turn on each other. Seeming friendly one minute, thinner the next. Viciousness comes easy. I mean, I should know. I've run with a few of them myself. Is that right? No, not really. <laughs> hey, uh, I realize I ain't properly introduced myself. Sally Nash. Arthur Morton. Nice to meet you, sir. Tell me, Miss Nash. How do you end up in this racket? I, I guess it's always been my inclination, you know? Wild beasts and the like. I met Mr. Margaret, we got to talking, and... You can probably tell, in this field, he's the ace of spades. He's a card, all right. It's my modest hope, one day, to be the world's second bravest woman animal wrangler. I'd say you got that sewn up and then some. You think? I hope so. Top five, at least. It depends on how many more fellers throw their hat in the ring. Maybe one of these days, best female for the job will actually be a female. Oh, I don't know if that'll ever happen. <laughs> we lost the main road around here when the dust was up. Be careful, or you might get wrecked too. Okay. You know the only thing to do in a dust storm is wait it out. Mr. Margaret's a lot of things, but best female navigator ain't one of them. I uh, imagine you're right about that. We was tearing around here, looking for any kind of landmark when over we go. Whole caravan toppled. Found each other and some shelter, but when the wind died down, the animals was gone. But now they're back. Some of them, at least. Thanks to you. Oh, you would have managed it yourself. I just helped you along. If you ever want to get in the sideshow business, I'm sure there'd be a place for a fellow like you. I'll leave the professional theatrics to better women than me. <laughs> That's Larry. Mr. Margaret! Mr. Margaret! 
Aha! I see you found each other. Sure did, Mr. Margaret. Jolly good, jolly good. You know, tarn and feathering a donkey is one thing. I beg your pardon? It's grease paint. Makeup. But playing dolls dressed up with a wild animal, you're going to want to be a lot more careful. Strappy ate King, Mr. Margaret. I saw her do it. I always thought they got along. Oh, she liked him just fine. She licked her chops and asked for seconds. Hey, speaking of which, you got any more word on that uh, runaway lion, or are you going to pay me for these misfits? Look, I'm well aware that we're not Royal Command performance material. Daddy, you were right, goddamn you! But a cow barn in Rhodes is hardly Drury Bloody Lane. You got any word on the lion? Yes, yes, I've got word on the lion. Shit is the word. Someone saw him near Emerald Ranch. As you know, we're lately very short on lions. So, I'd be very grateful. All kinds of grateful. There's only one kind of grateful I care about. So long, mister. Be a dear and fix me a gin. Okay, there's another part to this. Jesus. Largus. A Creole sound deep in the song. Oh, okay, cool. All right, let's go, Buttercup. Why you park so far again? I guess the I guess the game automatically puts him far, so he's out of the cinematic scene, so he doesn't do anything weird. That's what I'm assuming. What you got in there? Get boys. Get back! We got a cursed creature in here! Oh yeah? It's as big as a mule and as mean as a hellcat! <laughs> it looked like a lion to me! That's a dog in there! A dog? Now, you excuse me. Step aside. What? I said step aside! I'm gonna be really pissed if it's a real fucking... A, a real, real lion?
though it's an actual fucking light. Take trophy. Woo, he got it. He shot the thing. Is it dead? I pray that thing's a goner. The real guy. Whoever owned that beast got some answering to do. All right. Oh, that's a lot of dead animals. <laughs> oh, Seamus is not here. Seamus! Let's go see Margaret, Mr. Margaret. Bad news. Odysseus returns. Sally, get the cages ready. Yes, sir, Mr. Market, right away. A man eating lion. You didn't think that it might be useful for me to know that this time the animal was actually real, you moron? Steady on. I clearly stated that we were looking you for You haven't clearly stated anything in all the time I've known you. That could have been a goose for all I <laughs> a knew. A goose? will hardly get them to their feet for the curtain call. Bring on the king of the beasts, on the other hand, and they feel the roar. And they, well, look about as surprised as you do. What have you done with him, if you don't mind me asking? I killed him. He's dead. Bloody hell! This is Ramo, boy. Well, it was him or me. Now, pay me. Yes, of course, of course. <laughs> I have just the thing. And what a treasure it is! You're a lucky man, sir. Very lucky man. From the mines of El Dorado, as green as the rainforest, as clear as the Amazon, and as dear as all the gold in the Andes. One man's labor is but a trifle compared to this jewel's true value. Hmm. Wait! I shouldn't. What would Daddy say? Your Daddy ain't here, and we had a deal. Yes, of course. A promise is a promise. Sally, get the wagons moving. Ain't we waiting for the line? He's in the great hunting ground in the sky. Good day, sir, and thank you. But we really must be getting along. Yeah, we'll Bye. keep you. So long. So long, Mr. Morgan. Next time you see me, I'll be topping the bill, I promise. Or at least I'll be on the bill. All right. Ooh, Emerald. Here. All right, let's go back to our fencing friend here. Yeehaw.
Seamus. I can see Seamus. Welcome back, mister. Go on, have yourself a quick nosy. Oh, you got something for me? Mm-hmm. Craft me some... Got a little kick show in mind, huh? Oh. Mm-hmm, can do. Normally increase the player's stamina experience by 10. Oh. I just hope nobody's missing this too much. Pleasure doing business. All right. All right. I have to do. Uh, forgot to do horse mate. Rush the horse. Yeah, that's better, boy. Yeah, you're a strong one, boy. Can go weapons for Ben. Graze, there's ask you to sniff around Kelliga Hall to see what you can find about the graze. You can do that. Let's ride. Here's the empty town. I here's that empty town. I it's a weird little place here. Oh. Oh, this literally is an abandoned town, okay. Stay out, Plague. Okay, 
way, feller. have a problem with his friend. Hey, get yourself out of there. Well now, up to no good, are we? You always... This intrusive All right. ain't wise. You're... <laughs> We're acting weird. Is there an alligator here? Are you kidding me right now? Alright. I thought my horse was going to die there, but... Yeehaw, partner. What do you want, boy? Hey, look, I've been helping the sheriff with some trouble. Wanted me to have a word with few of the folks on the property here. Damn it, Lee. All right. Have a word. But I ain't got the time to help you. Obliged. All right. Hey. I was hoping you'd talk a moment. I'm a student of the history of the region, and... Uh... I ain't the one to speak to. Try Master Bo. Think he's down there by the wood store. Boy's got all the time in the world. All right.
Hello? Huh. I'll see you at the sheriff's office. Excuse me, friend. We friends? Not yet, but he is hoping. I guess. We don't get a lot of traveling men here, and suddenly there's a whole phalanx of mysterious but strangely helpful Yankees about the place. Is there? What are you doing here? I was just looking for work. Well, looking for something. Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. What secret? I got a secret of my own. Are you secretly normal? Excuse me? Never mind. <laughs> the thing is, I don't care if you kill the whole lot of us and the Braithwaites. I don't want to kill anyone. I love her, you know. <laughs> love who? Penelope. But it's impossible. Well, love tends to be complicated. She's a Braithwaite. I'm Bo Gray, son of Tavish Gray, nephew of Lee Gray, the sheriff, grandson of old Murdo Gray. We Greys have been loyal to the state and murderers to the Braithwaites for so long now, no one can even quite explain why. Beyond blind loyalty and stupidity, I'm supposed to be loyal to some nonsense while she... She's amazing. She's like a woman from the future. She's like tomorrow, if tomorrow turns out fine. Well, I'm sorry for your predicament. Would you help? I don't want to get involved in <laughs> gang feuds. It seems unseemly. I'll pay. I've got money. We Greys, we've always got money. No brains mine, but money. Well, in that case... I know she loves to sit out in the gazebo on the edge of the Braithwaite property. Take her this letter and this bracelet, please. Oh, look out for their guards. They're worse with strangers than ours are. So long, and good luck. Get on. Big ass property, my friend. There's the other property. What the fuck are you doing, horse? Oh, this property is huge! It's a little poorer than... This is so weird.
Nope. You can't be here, plantation workers only. Get out. Hey, hey, I'm just a tourist. I don't suppose you mind my walking through these grounds. I got a guidebook talks about the big plantation house. Your guidebook's about to get you shot, Yankee. Get out of here. That's real hospitable. Good day. If you aren't working for the Braithwaites, you can't well be walking here. I'm taking you out. You can't be on this property. Get already. God damn it. This is the weirdest spy mission ever. Are you Penelope Braithwaite? Well, yes, I am. I've got a letter for you. Oh. And a gift. <laughs> a letter and a gift. Well, we don't even know each other. <laughs> well, it's not from me. It's from... Uh... From Bo. <gasps> oh, he is so... Strange. <laughs> yes, he's a little strange, but also so human. The rest of our families are stuck in the dark ages or, well, I don't know, cave people, perhaps. Bo's different, but if they find out, they'll kill him and send me to live someplace awful like Ohio. <laughs> have you ever been to Ohio, sir? No. Well, neither have I, but my uncle has a factory there. He was sort of the black sheep on account of having left, but now they tolerate him because he's a vicious snob. Families are, are, there's something else. Have you got a family, sir? No, not really. Well, they tolerate him because of the money. But me, with my ideas above my station, they can't stand. That sounds pretty complicated. I, I don't know quite what to say. Well, nothing to say, except I hope they all rot. I don't. Uh, well, maybe a bit. But here, if you see Bo again, will you give this to him? Sure. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm the fucking designated messenger now. <laughs> I'm taking your boat. This property is humongous. What the 
car for mine. Oh shit, that property is big, man. It's Humongo. Molly O'Shea. Alright, I'm just gonna take a small break because uh, apparently uh, during this time I have a very small bladder for some reason. So I need to go pee again. So I will be right back. Uh, I should have enough coffee. Uh, yeah, I'll be right back. So uh, yeah, give me a couple minutes. Got a bit of cheese. Give me a bit more energy. A lot of water. Still got a bit of coffee left. Should be good. We have uh, five and a half hours left. I can make it. I got this. I don't have a lot of coffee left. I wish I had another one after this, but... Oh, horse. There you are, boy. Uh, let's get you looking nice. Let's go, boy. Now let's bring that letter back. Family business coming through. You're good.
from here. You got my money? Sure. Did she give anything? For me? Yes. Might I have it? Sure. But it'll cost you. Ah. <sighs> uh, I can't be bothered. Here, take it. Oh, thank you, Arthur. You'll... Thank you. Oh, my God. What a woman. She's... This'll get her killed, for sure. What? Women's suffrage. Around here, they don't even like men voting. They'd bring back the monarchy, given half the chance. Progress is a dirty word in these parts. Unlike incest. Excuse me? I don't want to marry my cousin Matilda. I want to marry Penelope. But they're gonna... They'll kill her at one of those rallies they're holding. They've done it before. Mister, you gotta help. No, I'm afraid I don't want no part of it. I'll pay. My family, we've still got some money. Fine. Just no more running around with letters. Thank you. Come on. We better get going. Uh, your horse. Just give me a second. I'm taking some water. Follow Bo. Bo, you know that. Do something, please. Do what? Fight this mob? We must begin. They need me alive. This is no laughing matter, sir. <laughs> they need protecting from certain elements. Mostly my family. Penelope, I beg you. I'll tell you what. Your friend here can drive the wagon for us. It'll allow us to shout all the louder. Sure. <laughs> Miss Calhoun! Miss Calhoun! My friend here says he can drive the wagon. Well, Olive Calhoun. Normally I like to drive myself, but today I feel like a man joining us sends the right message. Oh, uh, dear God. <laughs> I ain't never been in a protest march before, madam. Well, just treat us like the sheep and the folks attacking us like the wolves, and I'm sure you'll feel right at home. Shall we go? Call me a cowboy. <clears throat> All right, ladies. We know our song is a good one, mm -hmm. and we know he didn't want to get into this, and he got into one. this. Yes, ma'am. Let liberty reign. <laughs> we mothers, wives, housekeepers, and daughters. We cook the food and we fetch now, the water. Now, now, take us down Main Street, right through town to the steps of the Beggar Road, Mister. What was your name? Arthur Morgan. Very good, Mr. Morgan. Not too quick and not too slow. We need them to hear our voice. Well, they'll hear it all right. Very good, very good. Mr. Morgan, are you an old friend of the movement? I'm just a driver, Mrs. Calhoun. Maybe a shotgun messenger if it comes to it. I hope it won't. Well, our message will be delivered peaceably, Mr. Morgan. You can keep your shotgun to yourself. Stay on Main Street. Uh, it's a left up here, Mr. Morgan. Look at these people. It's about to get exciting. I can feel it. Oh, dear God. I believe you might be right. Good day, Sheriff. I trust you'll 
make sure it's a peaceful assembly. Mr. Morgan, I give you the male of the species. Yeah, that's a pretty dumb specimen, I grant it. Almost there. Take us just a little further, please. This spot is fine, sir. Ladies! Get down! Come on! 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 And gentlemen, yeah. well, this is a great day for all of us. Yeah. Oh. For today is the day we begin to live as equals. Equals! Oh. Ah. Yes, equal, sir. Fair and equal. This is unnatural. This is nonsense. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Fair, equal, and free, just as the founding fathers intended. Yeah. Yeah. Founding fathers, oh. not founding mothers, you hey, silly you old goat. <laughs> His philosophy dependent hey. on biology. What the hell are you doing here, boy? Keep your voice down. I'm trying to listen to the speech. Hello, darling cousin. Don't you ever speak to me like that. What are you doing here? Listening, I suppose. Go help Bo. His cousin is a moron. Stop them from ruining the speech. <laughs> you need to learn yourself some manners, cousin. Haven't you got anything better to do? Oh, you always will. Bo, why don't we just leave him? Well, who the hell is this? Follow me, right? What? You'll hit me? <laughs> Come on. Sir, can you not see how idiotic you are? Come on, Bo. Let's go. Right now. We are all Americans. We gotta go before they think twice. Oh, Lord. Follow me. I know a place. It's an old battlefield no one goes to. You don't want to go back and hear the speeches? I ain't voted before, but kind of getting hot for voting, right? <laughs> I don't know whether to take you seriously, Mr. Morgan. My cousins are my primary concern right now. If everyone knows about Penelope and me... <sighs> everyone knows about Penelope and you? I know about Penelope and you, and I've been here all of ten minutes. <laughs> the sooner it's out, the sooner it's resolved. The sooner it's dealt with, you mean. We're dealt with. Our families, the Greys and the Braithwaites, we bury our secrets, and we bury them deep. Your secrets and your treasure. You know, Catherine Braithwaite's got a daughter. No one's seen her in years. She weren't right, you know, and Penelope said... Uh, I, I ain't heard about daughters. I heard about gold. But Yankee gold? I fear that's just a story, Mr. Morgan. I don't know. Come on. This is awful. Nobody died. It ain't that awful. My cousins are vindictive bastards. My brothers are vindictive bastards. My cousins are worse. They started it. I know, but... You should leave. I will. As soon as I have enough money. When my family... We have money, but I don't. Is your family very rich? Yes. Well, I believe so. But, uh, they keep me out of the discussions. I have more of a... artistic temperament, so... Well, is that what they call it? Yes. Oh, you made a joke. Hmm. I really love her. I do. Well, stick around. Maybe you can die for her as well. I thought you were trying to make me feel better. <laughs> Look, I gotta go. <laughs> me too. Oh, damn! I'm gonna be late. My uncle is quite as bad as you would imagine. Uh, here, your payment. Thank you. I excuse me. All right. Thought we we're gonna deal with his cousins. All right, let's go to road. Let's go see what Dutch wants.
Charles and Dutch are here, I guess. Just by the horse. No, that's John's horse. I think. Would, would, I think. Of course, of course. Oh, and here is my dear friend, Arthur Callahan. Boy is a hunter. Boy oh, it's Bill. is a killer. Arthur, you've met but not been introduced to Mr. Oh, I'm so sorry. Sheriff. Well, how are you doing, sir? I'm fine. Tough business you boys had. We did? Oh, there's no need to pretend with me, sir. Life can be tough. So it can. And no man owes another anything. No, sir. But still, I feel you were hard done by. Losing your employment like that. But still... Here in Rhodes, we have work enough for honest men. Oh, that's some strong stuff. Still, don't seem to be doing you any harm, I guess. Exactly. Whoa. Excuse me a moment. I told you we was moving up in this world. Deputies. You have finally <laughs> lost your mind. Amongst these drunkards, hillbillies, and slavers? Good, honest thieves like us. We're bound to be moralizers in a place like this. Oh, Sheriff Gray, you are back. Now listen, sir. There is shine in them woods, though. And it is cost in this county its good name. And the state a whole lot of income. You boys wouldn't mind rooting it out. Maybe we'll make you permanent. I gotta set me down a second. Not a problem, sir. Not a problem at all. You are in safe hands now. And people waste time with the temperance movement. Liquor never dulled a good man's senses. <laughs> Arthur, you ride with the deputy. Bill and I will follow. Climb on up. Let's go. All right, deputy. Archibald. How are you? Pretty good. And your friend is behaving himself? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, I think he's learned his lesson. Congratulations on becoming a temporarily deputized citizen of Scarlet Meadows County. Most towns just get bounty hunters to do their dirty work these days, but Sheriff Gray believes the law should keep the law. Makes now, sense. I'm sure I don't need to remind you there's a chain of command here. There is? Dang straight there is. This is a dangerous business, but follow my lead and you'll be just fine. Oh boy. Sure. Hey, Archibald wants to remind us he's in charge here. Of course. Who else would be? But you were a big help with them Anderson boys, and I put in a very good word with the sheriff on your behalf. We appreciate that. We rounded up the others soon after. I'm pushing for the rope myself, but that's by the by. So, these moonshiners. Not just any moonshiners. Brad Waits. Braithwaite. Braithwaite. I told you about the Braithwaites. Pretty sure you did. Old Cotton family had a fortune at one point until, well, a few changes in the labor laws. Now they're dealing in moonshine. We found their stills hidden all over Lemoyne. Quick as we destroy one, another one pops up. You could call it a pitiful fall from grace, if they had any grace to start with. <laughs> I have no time for tax dodgers. Not to mention the fact that Catherine Braithwaite has a rather expensive interest in thoroughbred horses to maintain. But I heard something about it being gold these families were fighting over. Well, that's the rumor. But the Greys and the Braithwaites think the others stole the fortune from them. But... It happened so long ago, I don't know for sure if it's true. Must be tough being rich, huh? <laughs> so I imagine. Ah! That bed rather suits you, Mr. W. Yes. I thought so, too. <laughs> Does it feel good to be back at it, serving your country? I wouldn't go that far. Whoa! Whoa! Hold up. You see that wagon? Deputy uh, Callahan. Damn flies. 
I swear, they've got it in for me. You could try washing once in a while. Keep your eyes open. Oh, they've been dead a long time. No. This must have happened recently. Oh. Mm. Hey, come have a look at this. Look. Suit and tie. One bullet clean through the forehead. Well, my money says this is the handiwork of a gang called the Lemoyne Raiders. Yeah, I've run into them. Let's see if we've got any identification. Okay. We should get going. I'll send someone over here later to clean this up. Taking the reins. I want to have a look at these papers. Sure. I'll direct you. Okay. Frederick Mitchell, Lemoyne State Legislator. Poor feller. Yes, this certainly smacks of the Raiders to me. Bunch of ex army free staters without an ounce of respect for the law. That's seven government officials they've murdered this year alone. Yep. Not the nicest fellers, in my experience. Oh, and I know the Braithwaites are in business with them. No shame. Trash begets trash, my Uncle Reginald used to say. He had a few stories, let me tell you. Town preacher and town sheriff. Would drink a sailor under the table before breakfast. He had one tiny hand, like a child's, on the end of a grown man's arm. But anyway, this tells you what kind of people the Braithwaites are. Selling moonshine to murderers. I tell folks don't even speak to him. Don't even look him in the eye. Go right at the crossroads. I'm sure I wouldn't. Hey, that's that abandoned town I was at earlier. Again here. Ooh, spooky. So what was I saying? Something about the Braithwaites, I think. Even saying that word makes me sick. Now, anyone we find here, we bring in alive, understood? Round them up, and take this operation down for good. Come on. Let's see what we're dealing with. Rope them, catch them, and put them back. See? See? What did I tell you, boys? What did I say? I said this place was crawling with vermin, and we just found ourselves the rat's nest par excellence, as they say in Paris. My aunt, she went to Paris back in 78. How handle this? Well, the way I see Actually, let my friend here decide. He doesn't have your fine way with words, but he is definitely the man for the job. Let's split up. Arthur and Bill. Me and Archibald. You boys want right or left? We'll take the left. Let's stop these filthy degenerate tax dodgers. The cheek of them. A fine idea. Remember what he said. We need them alive. Nice and easy.
Sorry, Bill, I took a detour. I think you take this one, Bill. With pleasure. Last one, get him to the wagon. Let's go get him. Hogtied and knocked out some gun. Explosives? Sure. Anyone but him. Oh, so. I think you're real funny, don't you? Tell me about that. <laughs> that is the last time I'll mention it, I swear. <laughs>
Dutch and get out of here. Fine by me. Are we getting out of here then? A lot of raiding to do. A lot of looting. men must return to our lives. Ah, seems like we failed to destroy the last of the moonshine. Sure. Would you like us to? Well, I normally take it for personal consumption. It's sort of part of the job. But I better get back home. Why don't I just take a jug or two and leave you boys the rest to show that there's no hard feelings on account of the war? We are all Americans. <laughs> of course. But my cousin... Webster. He used to say some of us is not as American as others, if you know what I mean. Only I didn't, quite. Come on, you degenerate, no good, white trash, hillbilly piece of scum. I know you, Billy Lime. Finally. You've always been a Finally. piece of crap. Come on, move. We have a life right. on a land so stupid, a backwater so backwards that even we are like geniuses. <laughs> <laughs> Bill, get this stuff out of here. Come on, you ride with me. Okay. Should I stash this somewhere near camp, boss? Yes, show it to Hosea. I'm sure he can find a use for it. Bit of trouble back there, Arthur? Ain't there always. From what they was yelling, I think they were the buyers. Old Archibald didn't ask too many questions, so neither should we. I ain't planning to. That was worth the effort, though. Deputized and hiding in plain sight. These lawmen. These two families. I mean, I really think we can play this from all sides. It's got Hosea written all over it. This is starting to sound like the Young Dutch again. What do you mean, Young Dutch? I'm as strong as I have ever been. Hey, you know what? Why don't I race you back? Okay, you're on. That's the spirit. Okay, on my word. Set, go! You son of a bitch. of a rider. We'll see about that. Yeah.
You ain't cheating, right? Am I gonna win this race? I better hope so. Run away, <laughs> well, I never knew age had slowed you down quite so much. <laughs> well, time is a bastard. When you get to be my age, well, you'll know that better than anything. Be well. I had fun with you today. You're, I was gonna say you're like a son to me. But you're more than that. Oh, shit. What's going on? Jose and John are looking for you. They went out to the moonshine stash, said you knew where that was. They was planning a visit to the Braithwaite place, but John needs to do something for Dutch now, so Hosea wants you to join him instead. <sighs> Seems to be a lot going on. You're telling me. Okay, thank you. All right. What was I doing? thinking much drunken idiot that's what you think i got bigger problems to worry about have you also, have you that's nice good for you good for you but karen don't do this to yourself please you got a choice sure i got a choice that's nice Well, don't let me bother you. Okay, Arthur. So, how are you liking life as a lawn? What are we doing, Dutch? Well, I think they call it hiding in plain sight. Oh, is that what they call it? Because I got another word for it. Uh, I am sure that you have, but the way I see it, we stick out here either way. Now, we can hide and skulk in the woods. We'll arouse more suspicion than if we act friendly and helpful interesting theory i wonder how the practical will work out we shall see faith arthur all righty Ooh. 
Alright, I just have to go to the bathroom again for some reason. Uh, it's gonna be a couple of minutes. I'm surviving, I'm not, I, like, I can keep going, I just, I really have to go to the bathroom again for some fucking reason. I guess it's the coffee and all that stuff that's making me want to do that, so, uh, I'll be right back once again. Uh, should take a bit longer, though, it's, uh, a bit more of a business this time. <laughs> I'll be right back with more, uh, Extra Life, where there's only five and a half hours left or so. Uh, yeah, about five, four and a half hours left, so we got this, four and three quarters. So, we'll be back, I'll be back really soon. All right, we're back. Sorry for a short delay there. When you gotta go, you gotta go. go. This is the time of the night where the body starts acting, where it starts doing stuff it usually doesn't do. <laughs> Not just the bathroom, it's like the, the internal feelings. It's when your body's like trying to say, okay, you're, it's telling you, okay, you really need to go to bed because some of your body doesn't want to work anymore. But don't worry, I feel like she's quite still awake because of the coffee, since I've had like three, three, of these, uh, three of these filled up to the brim with sugar, well, with fake sugar because of my diet, but uh, it's still going good. Just, it's more the eyes are like annoying than anything, more than anything else. And honestly, it's more, uh, the, the, uh, at this point, the, prob the problem is more of trying to find a comfortable position to be seated in because I'm so tired. My legs and ass are so tired of being sitting in the same position. That it's starting, like, I'm actually, I have, like, a, a thick towel with, like, with, um, my, some of my daughters, like, um, like, these, these, uh, these, uh, it's green. Why did I take the green one? <laughs> like, these things, they're just, like, uh, like, blankets, like, small little, uh, comfort blankets or something like that, and I just, like, put two of those under and then put a towel over it just to try to, my chair is my chair is very comfortable. It's not made for like fucking twelve plus hours of sitting on though. That's the thing. I'm just gonna take a sip of water because it's still important to stay hydrated so your body keeps functioning anyway. I'd eat something, but I think I'm all out of uh, my own stuff, my own uh, sugar-free diet stuff. All right. I remember last year when I was playing around this time. Arthur! Oh, Arthur! You smell. It's cologne. It's liquor. It's cologne. From <laughs> Cologne, Germany. <laughs> oh, I, I just had a few nips, Arthur. I'm not drunk. I'm just happy. <laughs> You know, you ought to try sometime. Drinking? Happiness. Try happiness. Just, just a little, Just give me a second here. Alright, gotta try to promote to get some, some, some funds in here. Alright, uh, there is some fishing with our friend here, Kieran. I don't feel like going fishing right now, because that's a very boring job. Uh, let's go see... Mam O'Shea. Molly. Yes, Miss O'Shea. Ah, uh, call me Molly, would you? An honest mistake. Arthur, how is Dutch? I mean, how does he seem to you? I'm about the same as usual, I guess. I, 
I really love him, you know. But if he... Like he always says, loyalty is everything, so... Arthur! Excuse me, Mr. God Chet. damn it. What you want? I bring a gift. The great gift of information. So you got some tip-off, so now... I can risk my neck and make you some money while you lounge around. You know, Arthur, bitterness, it, it works on the inside as well as on your sour face. If you say so, but you could go find some other fool to run your errands. Bill, come on over here. Will you be my other fool? You too, Charles. What are you talking about? Arthur's above a little stick-up I heard about. No, I'm not. You just said. Hey, I'll do it. As long as you ride with us. <laughs> I got a serious medical condition. Yes, you are a compulsive liar. No need to be like that. Charles, have I ever lied to you? Yes. I hardly know you. Exactly. Now, you boys should do this. It's easy, and I'll only take a small commission for my information. But it's now or never. Then it's never. Oh, God help me. Fine. I'll do it. <laughs> well, what is it? It's a supply wagon carrying payroll, but... Very briefly unguarded, apparently. As it passes through a crossroads near here where there's an old ruined church before it connects with the rest of the wagon train. Very easy picking. As long as we get paid or you get shot, I'm happy. You are a sick man, Arthur Morgan. A very sick man indeed. <laughs> this way. Bunch of smart Alex. How you get wind of this, old man? We only been down here all of five minutes. Well, while you boys went off fishing or playing lawman or whatever the hell you've been doing, I've been getting down to business. Brass tacks. Finding the nearest grog house. Brass tacks. Hey, you don't want in on this, Williamson. That's fine by me. Do us all a favor. Head home. Just give it a rest, you two. Just have a little faith for once, will you? Oh boy, you're asking a lot. Like this since you fellers were knee high to a grasshopper. Once a decade, maybe. So what is it you scoped here exactly? Well, I told you. There's a wagon with a lockbox passes through every week. They switch outriders just north of here, but the front wagon's by itself for a stretch before the last run down into roads. <laughs> okay, hold up here. We should cover our faces. Oh, they'll be passing the crossroads up ahead when soon Williamson Christ sakes I should be due any time now let's keep this quiet and clean nobody needs to die here there you see gentlemen <laughs> just like clockwork <laughs> that old man's gonna get shot I don't, I don't want to get shot, but this is a mistake. I work for Cornwall Kerosene and Tar, Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Oh, great. So you know him? <laughs> he doesn't. I hear he's rich enough to share the wealth around and not miss it too much. Oh, he'll miss it. Okay, why don't you check out around the back? Arthur, help me out here. in the back, Arthur. Now, let's see what's inside. <clears throat> okay, we're looking good. Must be nearly a thousand here. Shit! Hey! Think I see something! Oh, great. Let's go! Arthur, let's go! Yeah! Let's go! Of 
course I hit a goddamn tree. Stay until dark, and then we'll sneak out of here. Charles, you keep watch for now. Sure. Well, we uh, get some rest. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Let's try and get out of here. Hey, shit. Absolutely. Well, shut up, old man. Look, I was just trying to... Shut up. There's a light over by the house. Damn. I right, know. Let's just keep this calm. See what happens. Is this your place? Kinda. Uh, and you didn't hear nothing? I... I... I why don't you just tell me, partner, what you heard? What? Good. Tell me what you heard. I don't... Uh, maybe I, I heard some noises out by the barn a while ago. It ain't me. It better not be. All right. Coop forth. Lo, go check out the, the barn. Uh, sir. <clears throat> Mr. Mustache. Well, the place looks deserted enough. Sure. You head inside, I'll go around the back. Come along. Oh, this is it. I'm officially weak. How about we stop? 
Shit! Fire! We got more on this side! Ah! Move, Bill! They're coming in from the front! Come on, let's get out. Come on, Arthur! Let's head to the woods! You're killing you! Into the tree! Come on! God damn. Where are we going, Bill? We'll try to lose him in the woods! Let's split up a bit. Try to confuse him. Arthur, with me. And you dumb Williamson, you're on your own. Oh, shut the hell up. <laughs> Quick. Behind these rocks. Uh, They're coming this way. Perfect. We need to do this quietly. You take the left and I'll take the right, okay? Your right or my right? Shh. Come on, let's go. Jesus Christ Almighty. We got corn on our backs. It was an honest mistake. Hey, leave it. Go on. Get out of here. Every man split up. Go on. Run quick. Good luck, Jens. Stay quiet and move. God damn it.
Oh lordy, that was good. God damn it, horse. Hey, Arthur. What are you doing? Selling it back to where it came from. Why? Well, I ain't got a market for it. They made it. They must have someone to sell it to. <coughs> Stuff look kind of lonely out here. I think we'll cut ourselves a deal. Ah, uh, I get you. You and Dutch was just doing your duty when you requisitioned it. Now I'm doing mine. All right. I should get going now. I'll leave you fellas to it. Good luck. Thank you, John. We'll see you later. Dutch asked him to look into something to do with the Braithwaite horses, I think. Sure, okay. Okay, let's head out to the Braithwaite's place. You know the way? Yeah, I've been there. So, what exactly are we doing? This is the moonshine we took after blowing up the Braithwaite still, right? I think the good citizens taking the trouble to return their stolen goods deserve some reward, don't you? Then it's time we made a formal introduction, like Dutch told us. Look, these are two big old plantation houses, and all I keep hearing is they hate each other so much they can't see past it. I know. I've seen it. There's a gray boy and a Braithwaite girl carrying on a secret affair. I've been, well, helping them. The mind boggles. You think they're of use? Not sure. They don't seem too involved in the rest of it, but maybe. Well, I'm sure there's money in this for us somewhere if we can get in the middle of it. I think we're gonna get shit out of luck on this fucking... Uh, what did I want to do here? Come on, just a little bit closer. Here we are. Modest little homestead, isn't it? Hello, gentlemen, how are you? What's that in the back there? Moonshine, my fine fellow. May I have a word with the man of the house? The man of the house is a lady. Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. May I speak with her? I want to discuss a business opportunity. I mean no harm. No harm at all. You may happily shoot me if I do. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, she's at the house. We'll be watching you. You heard the man. Driver, proceed, please. This place looks a lot more run down than the other guys. something out in the hills thought thought maybe you was in the market for it for what some liquor i ain't in the market for what's already mine the way we see it it's ours <laughs> well with us possessing it and I, I checked all over for the life of me i couldn't see your name on it oh relax i ain't here to rob you <laughs> oh it seems that's easy enough <laughs> why not do a deal 
What do you sell that stuff for? Dollar a bottle. You give us 50 cents. It's already ours. Well, look on it as a reward for finding the property. Alternative is we go sell it someplace else. The alternative <laughs> is you get shot. Now, who wants to get shot over a bottle or two of liquor? <laughs> Pay the man. Pleasure doing business with you. And listen, uh, we didn't take it, at least not without orders from... Oh, I know exactly who gave you your orders. Old Sheriff Gray. You know what? I don't want it. In fact, sir, now you can do me a favor. There's an extra ten bucks if you do. Drive the stuff into Rhodes, head over to the tavern run by Mr. Gray, and give the stuff out for free. Mama! Hush now. I believe they call that a promotional expense. <laughs> As you wish, madam. You boys come back sometime and tell me how you made out. Maybe we'll play a little cribbage. All right. Next stop, the road saloon. Here we go. All righty. So I finally sold those Cornwall bonds. Got close to a thousand for him. I wanted more, but not bad considering how hot they were. Especially after that bloodbath in Valentine. No, not bad at all. Apparently, Cornwall's been pumping a lot of cash into the Pinkertons. Wants to keep their full effort on going after gangs. Gangs like us. Yeah, that don't surprise me. All right. This could get ugly. You and Dutch already have that thing going on in town with the sheriff. Yeah, Mr. Gray. That's it. Now we're inserting ourselves in his blood feud. We'll need something. I ain't playing dressing. You know how I feel about that. Of course you're not. You're... You're a clown's idiot brother. Mosea, please. I'm the clown. You're the idiot. Just look sad and keep quiet. Even you can do that, Arthur. Oh, I have to. Uh, put this hat on. <laughs> Smoke this pipe. Bring your lip forward. Just a bit. Squint. Oh, perfect. Uh, what about you? Oh, shh, shh. You can't speak. You're turned idiot. <laughs> right throat, poor man is hot. Ah. There, there. Fatten, there, there. Don't get mad, huh? Okay, Fenton, stay calm now. For Mama, she loved you so. <laughs> Just a shame you had to strangle her in a rage, right? Grab two cases of that stuff and follow me. He's turned idiot. <laughs> Killed our mother, but it weren't his fault. How'd you boys, how'd you boys like a couple of bucks? I bet you would. One for each of you. We're in the new trade of advertising, which is an American art form about ensuring people buy the correct things. I don't know. One more dollar. Says give us half an hour. What harm can we do in half an hour? <laughs> Go along now. Enjoy the money. Come along, Fenton. Let's hand out the liquor. All right. Gentlemen! Gentlemen! 
My name is Melvin. That's my brother Fenton. He's a bit funny, but boy, can he pour drinks fast. For the next 30 minutes, the drinks in this year bar, in this year town, are entirely free. Yeah. The only rule is that you gotta drink them. So hurry up, put old Fenton to work. Don't get him mad, though. His mama made him mad, and we buried her. Poor <laughs> thing. Ah. Now come up to the bar, everybody. Come on, fellas. I'll have one, Fenton. Keep them coming. Don't be shy, boys. Don't be shy. It's a labor of opportunity. Now it's your opportunity to get hideous. <laughs> Mr. Gray won't be happy about this. Another bottle, Ben. These men are dry. We're out of line, then. Boys, let's go. What in tarnation? Hey, send a couple this way, will ya? How big are ya? Oh, wife is gonna kill me. <laughs> I only went out for milk. I'll have one, Ben. Keep drinking. There's plenty more where I came from, and it's all free. What? What is the spot? Keep <laughs> drink up, drink! Uh, Good morning, Raiders. Good evening, gentlemen. Quiet libation. You. Me. You're the bastard who stole the liquor we was gonna buy. Jump. we're in advertising. Uh, come on in and have a drink. That's our goddamn liquor! An honest mistake. Boys, get him! Oh, 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 Let's get out of here. Firing at us. Think you can steal from us? Ah! Woo. I see it. Damn it, they're still coming. That's our ah! move, damn bastards. Get. Ah! Get. Oh, both those sons of bitches dead! 
Never to take up a career. What was it? Advertise. Yeah. You think that woman set us up? No, I don't think so. Maybe. This place is odd. Yeah. I keep seeing those fellas. Some local militia. Clearly not too happy to have some new competition. I'll go visit old Mob Braithwaite. See what's what. Why? We've been making money. The chest is filling up again, slowly but surely. Part of me thinks we just get ourselves good and lost. But we still need a lot more money before that can happen. So, for now, let me go give old Mrs. Braithwaite some of this moonshine as, well, let's call it a peace offering. Sure. That was fun, Fenton. We'll make an actor of you yet. Yeah. <laughs> I'll go speak to Dutch. Only four hours left. So, what do you think? About what? The fine folks around these parts. Oh, real nice. Exactly. On the one side, we have got the Gray family. Scots, degenerates, drunkards, the local law. You couldn't make this stuff up. Rich as Croesus. And on the other, their mortal enemies, the Braithwaites. Moonshiners, hypocritical, both rolling, we believe. In gold. Mm. And in the middle of it all, you got some inbred retelling of Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so what you boys thinking? We try to rob them both. You sure? Why not? Because we got lawmen in three different states after us. Last thing I want is to get us into trouble, but we need money. Now, we have the opportunity here to put ourselves in the middle of something ain't nobody gonna know we was here. Because even without us, these fools are gonna kill each other okay, anyway. Okay, well, Jose's gone back to see that Braithwaite woman. Good. Hosea should definitely take the lead on this. I sent Sean over to Braithwaite Manor, too. Now, you can meet up with them, or join John and Javier at the Gray's place. Something to do with the Braithwaite's prize horses. Well, how the hell did we get an in at the Gray's place? Sheriff Gray kindly put in a word with his father. It ain't that complicated. <laughs> we gotta convince each family that we're on their side, and then we rob them both. Before they figure out it was us that done it, and not the other lot will be long gone. Think of it as payback for my daddy. Payback? Hmm. I ain't in the revenge business, Dutch. Least of all for something happened a long time ago. Well, I guess we all gotta pay for something. Now, if you will excuse me, Arthur, I got to write a letter. All right, all right, all right.
as I do. Yeah. All right, we're going to have to go do a bullet run. I'm going to need ammo now. you want you okay <laughs> do i look okay <laughs> no you look awful <clears throat> awful look at me useless i wasn't born to this i didn't deserve this i used to be a gentleman jeremiah compson compson stead good for you if that's <laughs> anything to boast about they took everything from me who did they and what did they take my whole life a whole way of living a career i stole a lot of things but that's quite a lot to steal look at me here living in the shit in the mud i'm sorry <laughs> my old house the house my grandfather built <laughs> It's all dilapidated and destroyed, repossessed by the bank. I'm sorry to hear that. I was supposed to live a different life. Me too. If only <laughs> I could get my old things back. Personal mementos, a watch, old pistol, my ledger. Where's this house again? Compson Stead. It's a north of... Scarlet Meadows. <laughs> Banks says I can't go near it. I'm living rough over by Aris Field. Well, if I'm ever out that way, I'll see what I can do. Time. Time is hell. Come on now, boy. Let's see what we can do for this gentleman right here. Oh, there's another fucking stranger. 
Let's go see this uh, gentleman's homestead. Let's go, right up. Oh wait, I wanted to go buy uh, ammunition before. Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. Don't, don't. Oh. Hello. Wasn't sure if I'd see you again. What can I offer you? Am Let me see what's available. Ammunition. Gucci. Terrible nice. thing what happened at the parlor house. No surprise the Braithwaite. Best for you. Don't care, I'm gone. Extra, extra. Oh, damn, fool. Sorry, kind sir. about that. Let's go, Arthur. You can, you can go a little bit faster than that. I gotta, I gotta slow down on the water because I, I, I literally have to go to the bathroom again. Jesus Christ. Yeah. At least it's keeping me on my toes, though. Thank <laughs> you. 
Church of Constance Watch Pistol and Ledger. Uh, by order of Judge Meredith Holden in the courts of the state of Lemoyne, we do hereby grant repossession of this property and all items here into the Bank of Roads. M. Holden, Judge Holden, Henrietta Blackley Clerk. Ledger, watch, pistol. I'll take your cans. Kentucky Bourbon, Jeffrey Hitchin, six coat. Nothing here any value. I wouldn't give you a nickel for it. Come by for a sup of whiskey any time. Bill. Yes. I was sorry to hear of Betsy's passing. Things is easier up there for sure. April 2nd, 1870. Dear Mr. Compson, I'm afraid there's no more work for you down here at the plantation. I'm grateful for the help you've given us and the help your pappy and your pappy's pappy gave us before you. These are trying times for all of us. You are in our thoughts and prayers. Yours truly, Colonel J. Nixon, the Ascension Plantation. Okay, where's all this old crap? Two fireplaces. God damn it. Told you to stay away from the boy. He don't want this. Heck, none of us want nothing to do with you. Rance. place first yeah easy i'm just looking around for some things hmm. that old revolver yours hmm. finders keepers ah son of a bitch oh god damn it, damn it. Oh, come on man where are you going oh. come on gonna get you ah.
Make me drop my hat again. The old pistol. Oh, that'll be the pistol. Uh, just the ledger now. Shit. Some secret stuff going on here. I was somewhere near Rhodes when they caught me. Till the day I die, I ain't gonna forget the sound of that dog barking in my heels. But I don't suppose that day gonna be far off yet. It was 50 lashings yesterday and 50 more to come. I don't think I can take any more. Man said he was doing his job. Funny kind of employment if you ask me, but I suppose you ain't. Light's fading, so that's it for now. I do hope I live to see the end of this war. And justice went out. Ugh. June 64. God. This your ledger? A list of slaves? Uh. Rewards. January 15th, Betsy. $17. January 18th, Louise. Twelve dollars. May eighteenth, Wilfred. Slave trader. Dear Mr. Thompson. After numerous complaints from customers and fellow employees alike, we must terminate your employment. There's just no place for a man like you at the Central Union Railroad Company. Let's get out of here. Where do these guys pop out? They just like fucking. They're hiding somewhere? Or? I ain't saying that is Oh man. Oh man. <laughs> if you sh show some respect. I was respected once. I had a profession. You asked me to get you something. There's no bringing back what I want. I want my job, my pride, the respect accorded to a gentleman. What about this old crap? Huh? My things. Don't you understand? Those bastards, they changed everything. I was a good worker. I took pride in my work. They, they, they took it away. 
pissed on my legacy. Oh, man. Some jobs ain't for saving. And some legacies? Oh, do you... They are for Ooh, pissing What on. are you doing? That's, that's my history. Damn you! Damn you! I still exist! Do do I do I take him out of his misery or It's not worth it. Alright, I'm just gonna take a two second break and just have to go take a, a wee wee again, goddammit. <laughs> I think I'm gonna slow down on the water. Mm -hmm.